Hello guys, it's Vicky and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please join the family by clicking the subscribe button. You can also follow me on my Instagram at Vicky underscore balloon. Today I'm wearing my scrubs. Firstly, because it's during the week and this is probably the only time that I will get to take this video. And also, it only makes sense to wear scrubs because this is what I'll be talking about today. I'll be answering um, some of your questions that you asked on my Instagram last week. Everything regarding radiography or radiology. So I hope this will be a very informative video and it will answer all your questions. So last week I did indicate on my Instagram stories that I've been getting a lot of questions regarding what I do. So... I asked you guys to ask me anything related to radiography so I'm going to be answering some of those questions and some questions that I'll be answering were not asked but I feel like they are necessary to know it is important to know them before you choose to go into the field so I wrote those questions down on the paper because I'm using my phone to film this video so I'll be looking that side so the first question that I put up which nobody asked but then i feel like just it's a proper way of starting this video is what is radiography so the simplest way that i can explain or define what radiography is is by saying that it's an imaging technique that uses x-rays both ionizing or non-ionizing x-rays to view the inside of the human body it may be an alive human body or a deceased human body so you can use those x-rays to view whether your organs or your bones or anything that is inside the human body. So you basically study and you qualify as a diagnostic radiographer. So one question that might pop in your mind is that what does a radiographer actually do? And here's what they do. Radiographers produce images that um, show the inside of that body that you are scanning, the alive body or, or the dead body, by using certain equipment that are specially designed for radiography alongside the techniques that we are taught at Vasit to get those diagnostic images. So another question that was asked is, what is the difference between a radiographer and a radiologist? And this is something that confuses many people. I say it at work even today. So a radiographer, like I explained, is a healthcare practitioner who produces um, x-ray images or scans. The radiologist is a doctor who first studied medicine and then went on to specialize to become a radiologist. So what radiologists do is that they diagnose those x-ray images or scans that were performed or produced by the radiographer. That's the simplest way that I can put it. So we have radiographer, we have radiologist, all in one department. Radiographer produces x-ray images and scans. Radiologist diagnoses those images or scans to see what is wrong with the patient. So basically as a radiographer, you are not allowed or you cannot diagnose the patient. You cannot take scans and tell the patient that, okay, this is what's wrong. It's only the radiologist who has um, the authority to do that you might know what is wrong with a patient but then you do not have the authority to tell the patient or diagnose and all. the next question is is the equipment not difficult to use <laughs> absolutely not it's not difficult so during our years of study um we will go to different training facilities or hospitals where they will train you on how to use those machines so you go as early as first year so that you can adapt quickly to the machines. So they will teach you everything about the machines that you need to know, the software, just everything basically. And the more you use the machines, the more you get used to them. It's absolutely easy. The only difficult thing I think is the process of actually getting those scans or images but then the machines no it's not difficult to use at all you become trained as early as first year and then the more you use the machines you get used to it and and another question is where can i study radiography and how long does it take for me to complete the degree um there are many institutions across the country where you can study radiography the ones that i can think of is the Fakumahatu or medinsa which is where i studied 
um the course is also offered at university of pretoria university of johannesburg the university of technology tut it has as well um cape peninsula university of technology they do offer the course as well and other institutions that you can check maybe on google but these are the ones that i can think of right now and as to how long can you study the course it varies with different institutions some institutions is three years like medusa where i studied and some institutions is four years i don't know which ones oh yeah uj is four years uj is the only one that i can think of that is four years up is also three years and some i'm not sure but yeah most institutions are three years and a few four years so if you are clever <laughs> you know where to go and also another thing that i must not forget to mention is that um after completing your studies some institutions you acquire a bachelor's degree some you acquire a national diploma and it does not mean that when you started for four years you get a bachelor's degree no i started for three years and got a bachelor's degree and you can go to any other institution and study for four years and acquire a national diploma so it's not the same with different um universities next question is what are the requirements to study radiography so in many institutions especially the ones that i mentioned here that they they need an APS score of 25 to 28 i'm sure you know what an APS score is and all your subjects you must have gotten 50 percent and above but obviously 50 percent is not what you should aim for or not what you should hold on to maybe like being hopeful to be accepted in the course there are students or learners who would come with very high marks and you would get your 50s or 60s and not still be accepted in the course so i would encourage that you like the basic requirement is 50 and above but then aim for higher marks if you are considering to study radiography aim for above 50 or 60 just so your chances of being accepted to the course increase as well and another important requirement is that you must have studied um physical sciences mathematics and life sciences as your main high school subjects next question is do you do mathematics when studying radiography and the answer to that is no so the main subjects that you will do during the course of your study are radiologic technique or radiographic technique which basically teaches you the procedures that you need to carry out in order to produce your x-ray images or your scans you will also do imaging and that teaches you how radiographic equipment is built and how it functions as well as physics however the physics doesn't focus like it's not the normal physics that you know it focuses more on the radiographic equipment and you will also do human anatomy human pathology and human physiology um, which teaches you the basically the human body the structures that are there how they function and the pathology that is associated with those um human organs and another question was so what do you hate the most about radiography hmm. i don't hate anything i absolutely love what i do except that you don't get to sit down you're on your feet almost the entire day from morning until afternoon sometimes you work at night you also work during weekends so that doesn't give you a lot of time in your hands to do other things have fun you do get to do those things but minimally so and most of the time you are at work but then i think it also balances your lifestyle you get to be at work you get to have fun as well it's like a nine to five job plus a night duty as well as a weekend shift and another thing that i don't like about it is i'm putting you are basically putting your health at risk because you work with radiation and we know that radiation has its um pros and cons however it's minimal risk though because you take precautionary measures every day to make sure that you are protected from the radiation but other than that i don't hate anything at all i absolutely love it yeah i love it so much i'm at peace when i'm at work i get busy and tired but 
I'm happy. And if I were to give one advice to a high school learner, be it grade 10, 11 or grade 12 learner who is considering to study radiography would be that do thorough research about it before you get into the course or before you apply. Make sure that it's something that you really want. Make sure that it's something that you understand what is happening in the field because I've come across a lot of people who studied radiography and are not happy because they do not like the cause. It's like they expected a particular thing and then they get there, it's something totally different. So if I had to advise you, do thorough research, familiarize yourself with radiography. So what you can do, I think the easiest way to do this is if maybe you applied to SMU or UJ or wherever, ask for a letter from the department to visit any government hospital just so you can get to see what radiographers do on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that it's something that you really want for yourself, something that you want to study because you do not want to spend three or four years of miserable studying and then going to work to do something that you do not love. I see those people, I know those people, they are there. So yeah, just do thorough research, thorough research, make sure that it's really what you want. And yeah, that's it. That's the end of the q and I hope that all your questions were answered clearly. And if there's something that I left out or something that you did not clearly understand, feel free to go to the internet to Google some questions related to radiography. You can also check out other videos on YouTube that are very nice videos that actually explain what radiography is in more detail. They show you what happens in a radiology department or an x-ray department. So yeah, I hope this video was informative though. I hope that I did justice to it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment and subscribe as well if you have not subscribed. Also, you can follow me on my Instagram at Vicky underscore Faloi. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in my next video.